Hi everyone, this is Gloria with stampwithgloria.com. Uh, today I'm going to combine a couple of techniques using our new blendability pens and how easy it is to put it into a card. I'm making a birthday card for my daughter. Her birthday is in July. Um, I'm going to be using the stamp set called Endless Birthdays. It's the photo polymer set that we have out right now. It's kind of cool. It's got like these little sayings like it's your and then you can put lovely birthday or it's all about you or hip hip hooray to you and your new boy or new girl. <laughs> There's just a lot of different wish wishes on here. So it's kind of a cute, a cute little stamp set. And we're going to be using, or this is the card that we're going to be doing. And then this is the blendabilities part of the card. I'm going to show you how to get this look. It's kind of an artsy look. It's for my daughter, my oldest daughter. She kind of likes the more eclectic look, kind of the fun stuff. So I thought I would blend a couple of techniques into one card and show you how you can get kind of an artsy fartsy card. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're taking a regular um, Whisper White card stock and then we're gonna use the Moonlight Designer Series paper. I love these little paper packets or paper stacks they're called. You have all these different kinds of backgrounds you can use for everything, for punching, for the backgrounds on cards, um, just you know to add a little smooch or something to your card they're the perfect size they're easy to tuck in for a make and take so it's just a fun little thing now on this card here you can see I kind of made um, the square into a frame okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to do that right now um, to make the frame I just um, I'm going to just take and actually draw freehand around the square. Oop. Remember, making the sound effects will have a better result than not making the sound effects. Okay, so if I'm making a frame, I'm going to make this a little bit darker. So I'm going to hash some lines in real quickly here. Um, go around the card. This doesn't, this is not rocket science. It doesn't have to be anything special. So we're gonna just go all the way around. And so this kind of gives the illusion that this piece of paper is being matted like a photo. Okay, uh, like I said, I wanted to kind of give her a little bit of an artsy fartsy look. All right, so now we've got that. Now we gotta make the picture frame. So to make the picture frame, I'm just gonna draw a frame around the outside of the card. Okay, so we'll just draw it right around. And again, this is not, you know, anything special. You kind of want to get it straight, kind of don't. Um, it's kind of the charm of the card itself. Okay, and we'll go across the top here. There you go. So now we got a frame going, but now we got to do the corners. So we're going to match up the corners. All right matched up the corners. Cool, huh? So now we've got the new journaling pens and the journaling pens from Project Life. They're, you get two in a package and this is a zero one pen. So it's very, very um, narrow. On this card, I use the medium. I'm gonna show you how to do the narrow. So it's just real easy. You're gonna pull some lines down, make it look kind of cool. Whoop, whoop. Remember the sound effects. That's the cool part of doing this. There is no rhyme or reason to this. You're just gonna pull some lines in. Okay, so then you wanna do some curly cues. So you want the curly cue to end up on the line. Whoop, whoop, there we go. There. Okay, and then maybe another little curly cue down here. So now we got kind of a funky looking card. Now where does the blendability part come in? Okay, on that little stamp set for birthdays, we're gonna use the memento pad and the little um, birthday cake here. And look at, there's a perfect little space for us to stamp the birthday cake. Isn't that awesome? They were thinking about us doing these little cards and how that would work for me with the artwork. <laughs> Then we're going to use the sentiment. 
it says have an awesome. And I, I chose have an awesome because um, this card doesn't have to be birthday on the inside. Remember I make cards but really don't put the insides in until I need them. So she could have an awesome day, she could have an awesome life, she could have an awesome whatever you want it to be, but it can be awesome. Okay, so we've got the birthday cake going and we're gonna color it in. So we're gonna use the Blendabilities pens and we're gonna use um, the, the purple or the rich razzleberry um, set of stamps. Now, if you watched any of my previous videos, how I taught you how to use these is start with the lightest color first and then you're gonna shade with the darkest color. Now, I love the artwork on this because um, you can put in all your own shading and shadows. I taught in my first video that there are some stamp sets that already have the shading in, which is great. It's like a fail safe for when you're teaching your, your customers how to use the blend abilities. So um, it's just another type of artwork that you can use. I prefer having none of the or none of the lines in the artwork and then I can put my own shadows in like I'm doing right here. See how we build on that um, cake there and make it look a little bit more three-dimensional. And I'm gonna just even out, pull some color here and that just kind of blends the color and we're gonna do it up on top just a little bit too. Remember the middle of the object is always the portion of the object that is the lightest. So we're gonna, I forgot to do the top of the cake here. Let's do light. And then I'm gonna skip medium on this and go right to dark. And we wanna pull that dark in just a little bit. See how it's starting to give it like a three dimensional look. All right, then I'm going to take my Daffodil Delight um, set of markers, which is start with the lightest. Okay, and pull that into the cake. All right, medium, just a smidge of medium. We're not gonna need a lot, but we're gonna pull that across the top and then on the bottom, we'll pull it across the bottom, okay? Then the darkest, the darkest color. That's where like all the shadows are gonna fall, okay? Right, oh, right on that, there we go. Right on the top of the circles. We want that to happen. Okay, so now we've got that going on. Now we'll take our blues. This is the Coastal Cabana. Start with the lightest color. Do our bottom here. Oop. And we're gonna wanna pull out a shadow later. So we're gonna pull that shadow out right now. And I'll enhance that shadow in a second. And let's use the next, the medium blue. Okay, we wanna do that like under. We want to do some of that on this side that hits the light. We don't need a lot. Maybe pull it in just to so see how that's making that look like there's some shadows going on here. And let's do the darkest blue color. We're going to do around this edge here, around that edge there. Ooh, might pull it in just a little bit. And then, of course, down the side and across the bottom. Let's take the, um, the color lifter. And we're gonna lift some color right at the edges here. Yes, blend that in. See how the lighter color gives you the shadow, the dark and the light shadows, which is what you want. Okay, and we'll go a little bit more on the color lifter right here. Okay, and then um, I forgot that I have to pull my shadow out. So we're gonna start at right there right at the tip and then pull it out. You can see it's just standing up there. And then I'm going to take the same designer pack, the Moonlight Series designer pack and the Bitty Butterfly. I'm gonna take some of the darker color cardstock, punch that in, and then we'll punch the stripe one in just for fun. There we go. And take our glue dots. Stick our little butterflies on. Oops, we forgot the candles. Let's take the lightest color for the candles. Don't want her to have birthday candle that's not sparkling. And voila, 
we have kind of an eclectic, kind of fun birthday card or a nice how you doing kind of card. Um, I hope you like how I combined a whole bunch of techniques and products to make this card. Have a great day and you can buy all of these supplies at stampwithgloria.com.